Hello everyone and welcome to another VCSIM tutorial. In this tutorial we're going to be talking about why you should move straight up through Bootstrap, okay, in your journey of uh, web development. Um, like I always say, one of the important tools we need is a text editor, which is Sublime Text, okay, and uh, a web browser. Those two are good to go. I'm just going to go to my desktop right now and then click on create my new folder. I'm going to just call this web. Two points. Uh, okay, so the folder is actually simple. When you're doing this folder, I will just create a text file. Okay, I'm just gonna call that index.html. Okay, I will be editing that with um, sublime text like so. Within here, I'm just going to write in HTML and hit tab. I'm just going to call this get started as my title. Okay. And within here, I'm just going to say, Welcome. There we go. View this with my browser, and here I go. But this looks so ordinary, and um, still a lot that needs to be done with this. And this does not uh, meet up the standard level of web design that we have. Okay, so what you want to do is you want to get to this beautiful website called getbootstrap.com, very important, and we're going to click on get started. Click on get started, then you scroll down into starter templates. Don't worry about the other things, you're going to get into them with the time. Just going to click on copy right now. I'm going to head back into my Sublime Text environment. I'm going to control A and control V. Okay, and let's just save this. Okay, when I save this, right click and click here. I have this. Hello world. This is looking more beautiful, relaxing. Right, so there are a lot of capabilities within this, right? So I can decide to call this my home page. Right. Okay. My H1 can say without touching any other thing, welcome to my home page. Okay, this is my home page. So Bootstrap has a unique uh, number of classes, okay? All right, already built in that enables our job to go very smoothly. And uh, one of my personal favorite when it comes to the text is the display iPhone 4. Okay, so let's just see how this looks. Heading now, I'll just see this. Welcome to my home page. Okay, this is looking more exciting. I think uh, the web development journey takes a more better. Uh, root if we go this way all right so let's just create a little button here okay the button all right okay sorry so we'll do that if you want to be a little bit familiar with links we want to head into um about about.html okay i'm just gonna say click here okay here for more all right let's just leave this simple Head on to our page, refresh this, and see this is what we have. This looks too simple. Okay, we can just select over this and put this within a container. Put this within a container. Give that container. Right. Let's format this a little bit more using a tab. 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 There we go, go back to the site, and we are getting something nice, all right? So, uh, one of the little tricks a lot of um, bootstrap uh, users don't know is sometimes they wrap the button around an anchor tab, which is not necessary. All you need to do is to make a link appear as a button, you just need to add a class, all right? That class is BTN, BTN primary. Right, you can decide to say BTN LG, make it match. All right, so this is the reason why you should just jump straight into Bootstrap. All right, okay, so clicking this will take us to our about page. So, how do we make our about page? Pretty, pretty simple, we just copy this, okay, it's within the same directory. Directory, we could create another file, call this about.html, okay. Right, then within that, we can just paste that and come in here and say about us. Simple, 
All right, so let's do some write up about us. Okay, within Sublime Text Environment, you can just hit Lorem, type in Lorem and hit tab, and this is going to bring for us this page. Okay, so when we do this, we have an About Us page. Great. Going back to the home page, refresh, click here, and we come to the About Us page. This is looking pretty nice. If I need the navigation, all I need to do is head on to my bootstrap, come over to components. I need the navigation. I'm going to scroll bar down into my navigation bar, and we have a lot of examples. A lot of examples. This is one example. Components, navbar. Okay, still within the navbar. You can see this is a beautiful looking navbar. And it's no, there's no need to reinvent the wheel anymore. These things have been done. Okay, for us, all we need to do is use them. Alright, so let's just pick the basic example at the top bar. These are all now bars. You can go through this is a documentation and be able to know everything about it. So let's gonna click on copy right now. Head into your home page. Okay, come immediately after your body. Make sure you're immediately after your body and just hit let's paste that in. Okay, let's do the same thing for the index. There we go. Let's save that, come back into our page and refresh. Boom, we already have the navigation bar. Let's press this. Okay, so we are good to go. So, this is the reason why you just want to work in some bootstraps. Very exciting field and it's really wonderful. All the way. It's nice. And you really need to love this documentation because this is the thing. Yeah. So, to edit your navigation bar, all you need to do is uh, still following the same, which is also responsive, need that it forgets. Okay? Responsive. Okay, it's still query and all that. Oh, damn it. If I disconnect from the internet, I don't have the switch of course. The um, files are actually saved. Files. Content deleted. CDN. Alright, thank you very much.